Hey everyone, so I have been a little late to the party but here I am. The Obsidian Web Clipper was released to the public a few weeks back and I'm really impressed by how well they have built this tool. Previously I was using this tool called as Eloquent which allowed you to highlight and capture web pages but it was not that good. Uh, it was primarily built for ROM research but it also integrated with Obsidian. But the workflow with Eloquent was not that seamless. I would just highlight the information on the web pages and keep it in one place and then I will manually copy all of those highlights and put them inside my obsidian folder and that was not a very smooth workflow but now the obsidian web clipper saves a lot of time doing this you can see here you can use obsidian to uh, easily capture the web pages and save it as a markdown note you can save articles recipes references academic papers and even you can create custom templates to save your favorite sites and then you can highlight the important uh, parts of the website or web page if you are reading some articles then uh, if you are doing some research then you can just highlight the important part and then those highlighted part will automatically be moved to obsidian with just one click this ability to highlight important parts of the web pages and capture web pages is a significant improvement over my previous workflow and in this video, I will guide you on how you can get started with Obsidian Web Clipper and use it in order to highlight and capture web pages from any of your browser. It also works with mobile phones. If your browser supports extension, then you can use this Obsidian Web Clipper. Currently, the Chrome browser on the mobile device does not support extension, so you will need to switch to a different browser, such as there are other browsers like Firefox, Kiwi browser on Android and other browsers that support extension on mobile devices then you can use those devices to save information directly from the mobile as well. Now let us begin on how you can configure and set up the Obsidian Web Clipper. First you will need to install it for the browser that you are using. It automatically detects the browser that I'm using so I'll just click on add to art and it will open this Chrome Web Store. I'll just click on add now the obsidian web clipper is added to my browser now there are two ways you can open the web clipper first is by clicking on the extension icon okay in arc you have to first pin the extension now you can just click on this extension icon and it will open this new window which is the web clipper window or it also has shortcuts like option shift o which will open the web clipper like this okay i'll just close this page and go to a page where a clipping is available okay so here is a web page that i want to highlight or capture information from now i'll just open this web clipper and if you go to settings okay this will automatically clip here because we have not configured anything and it is using the default templates you can use different templates for capturing different kind of information we'll talk about this first so you'll need to get us go to settings first and over here you have the option to create a new template let's first start with that but let's go through the general settings first okay first here is the vault section if you are using multiple vaults and if you want to save different kind of information to different vault then you will need to configure it over here by default the clipped nodes by web clipper will be saved to the currently open vault if you want to use a different if you want to use different vault you will need to exactly specify the name of the vault over here separated by comma like this okay i only have one vault so i do not need to do anything then here is the hotkey section which you can use in order to quickly access these features such as the open web clipper feature which is command shift and o quick clip feature which is option shift and o and then there is the highlighter feature which is option option shift and yes then here are some advanced settings by default when you clip anything using the web clipper it will open your obsidian vault with the current clippings and that is all over here now let's create a new template over here and i'll create a new template for highlighting the article to extract important passages or important ideas from an article okay the first section over here is the behavior section what kind of behavior do you want this template to do you can either create a new note you can add to an existing note at the bottom at the top or you can add to the daily note at the top or at the bottom then you can configure the note name in the note name here you will need to use the variables which will auto populate the data from the website like if you just write this variable title it will write the title of the 
web page if you write like this title author then it will write the title of the note with this dash and the author's name if you want to see more variables then you can go over this learn more section and you can go through all the variables that are available like author content content html description domain this kind of thing so i'll just close this and go to obsidian web clipper and go back to the settings then here we have the note location where do you want to save the uh, note by default the option is clippings but if you want to store it in some different folder or different place then you can specify the path you can configure different folders for different uh, templates as well then you have the vault selection if you do not have multiple vaults it will uh, save to the last used vault if you go to general setting and you have added different like let's say obsidian and vault okay these are the two vaults then you can configure it from here I did one thing wrong previously when I said you need to separate it with comma. You do not need to separate it with comma. You just need to enter the vault name and it will add the vault. Now you can configure in which vault you want to save the clippings done with this art article template. Okay. So I'll just remove these vault names from here and let it be the last used. Then there is the template trigger option. This defines rules to automatically select the template if it matches a URL pattern or contains schema or data. One rule per line. So here you can specify the URLs for the web pages that you frequently use to automatically detect this template. Uh, let's say I write oh, medium.com over here. Now, whenever I'm trying to use the Obsidian Web Clipper on this website, it will automatically use this article template. Then we have the properties section. You can write property over here like the title with value will be title variable. I like to keep it clean. So title uh, and URL will be URL. I think that's the right variable. If you want to add other information, you can do it. Like you can write a read property to determine whether you have read or not. And then you can select the type of a property like checkbox and read is null okay i think it is one or the value should be one or zero so it will be zero then here is the important part what do you want to add to the node content i just go to the variable section and you can see here we have all the variables like the we can add the site name title in the node content we can customize the node content by using these variables that are available over here such as you can write the uh, name author's name like okay you can write the author like this and now when you clip something using this template it will automatically write it like the author is the author's name and then you can write the content over here by using variables however you like okay uh, this is all for creating a template now let's get back to the settings option if you go to properties over here you can see you can configure more properties or you can add more properties by uh, adding a json file over here then here is the highlighter section which i guess is the important one by default when you are highlighting on the web and you want to save it it will save the entire web page with the highlighted part as a highlighted content in the markdown let me show you an example okay i have this uh, web page now i'll just open the highlighter obsidian web highlighter and i'll just highlight this part okay now if i click on clip highlight and i'll use the article template and you can see here it is highlighting it is like capturing the entire web page and i do not want this if you do not want this to happen then you will need to configure this in the highlighter the highlighted content should replace the page content instead of highlighting the page content. Now let's try it again. We have highlighted these two parts. Okay, I'll just highlight this one part. Now I can click on clip highlights and it is saving only this part of the web page. Now we can see over here, we only have the highlighted part. And if you click on add to obsidian, it will add only that part. Okay, and I think we have done some mistake on adding the title let's try to look for variables and yes we have done the syntax wrong over here and both should be curly brackets okay now i'll try to do that again for this web page i'll just delete this first go back open the highlighter clip it 
add to obsidian and now you can see we also have the author name and you can see how good the highlighting experience is look at how smooth this is i really like it and uh, like i can just select the particular sections like this or i can just select some words from that particular sentence uh, or from that particular paragraph and i can just click on it and it will just save it i'll just click on add to obsidian and here we have the node with important ideas highlighted and in the properties section we have the title and the url and the read select property checkbox property and if you click on the checkbox it will be clicked the final part that i want to talk about obsidian web clipper is the interpreter feature i'll just go over here settings and over interpreter interpreter uses ai in order to extract data from web pages if you enable it you have the option to configure these different models one model that i suggest you to use is grok okay i i think if you have been watching my videos then you might have seen me previously using grok api keys uh, a lot in using uh, ai tools and you can get the api key for free with some limitation but those limitation will far exceed your requirements okay you can get the api key i just search for go api and here we have the api key section you'll need to create an api key from here then uh, you'll need to go to an api documentation over here api reference and you'll need to copy this chat completion url base url i think this is called the base url and then you'll need to go to models and choose the model that you want to use okay i think it is not over here i'll go to models and just use one of them from here llama 3 8 billion one okay now go to web clipper settings again click on add model i'll just name it grok base url will be this one model id will be llama 3 8 1 9 2 model provider will be grok and here you will need to provide the api key okay now you can click on save Currently, there is an issue with the interpreter. By the time you are watching this video, I guess the issue will already be solved. Uh, if you go to the Obsidian Web Clipper GitHub, in the issues section, we have issue where we cannot switch models in the interpreter. So currently, you can only use the GPT-40 Mini as an interpreter model. And by the time you are watching this video, I guess it will already be solved okay let's say you want to write a interpreter context to pro provide a three line bullet summary of this a page okay you can just write three point bullet summary that's it just like how you would format variables you will need to format the interpreter in this way with the two curly braces and then double quotes currently i will show you by using this okay i'll go to interpreter and use automatically run now i'll just use it over here and then you can see over here gpt 40 mini the current issue with the interpreter is that you cannot switch to any other models when you are using it so hopefully that will be fixed when you have already watched the video you can just click on add to obsidian and you can see here the interpreter has processing failed because we have not added the api keys for open ai this is one thing that will easily be fixed in the next update if you do not want to configure your new templates yourself you can either go to the discord community to see what they have or there is a github repo i just shared the link to the github repo in the description you can check it out from there if you want to use it such as reddit hacker news youtube clipper youtube full description transcript youtube timestamp clipper etc let's say uh, i want to use this one hacker news i'll just copy the json file then go to the obsidian web clipper setting click on new template and here i'll need to import it by pasting the json and here i have the template now whenever i'm in hacker news and if i want to i'll just go to hacker news and I can just open the clipper and it will use the hacker news template because it detects that we are on the hacker news. So this is a great way to consume new information and save it to Obsidian. Obsidian Web Clipper makes it really easy to 
quickly capture information to quickly capture web pages as well as important parts like highlights of the web pages for resource purpose like for saving inspiration bookmarking anything it makes it so much easy and there are more features that are coming to obsidian web clipper if you go to the obsidian web clipper repo you can see that there are many features that are in pipeline like the translation annotation saving image locally templates directory template validation and many more so this is a great job done from the obsidian team i really hope they will work on these features like the first one is saving image locally and the second one is annotating highlights that would be great as well this was all about how you can configure the obsidian web clipper i hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful if you found it helpful please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel i hope you have a great time Bye.